Right, well, straight into it. I do apologize about uh, kind of making my comeback video and they're not playing very much. <laughs> I was working really hard uh, at work and I was playing a couple of alts and playing very, very casually, like one night a week kind of thing. And I wasn't really playing my druid. But here's the video that kind of was meant to come straight after that. <laughs> a bit more quadding action for you. I've been having a lot of fun here. I am level 50, finally. It only took me two years to get level 50. But we're finally there. So I'm in Eastern Wastes. Uh, there's 13 people here. Eastern Wastes, if you're looking at a map, I'm kind of right at the top. There's a Coldane uh, hut right at the top. Kind of the western, northwestern side of the zone. I think this is number two on the map. And then I think this is number three. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the giant fort. I've been quadding here uh, this whole level. It's actually a pretty good experience. I could be getting better experience somewhere else, but this is totally uncontested. No one's here ever. No one kills these giants. But it's basically really fun because I'm getting rep for Coldane and the dragons, whatever they're called, Vishan or whatever. And getting pretty good XP. It's just fun. I like being in Velius too. And I kind of wanted to show this quad off. I've done it a lot and I've finally figured out how to do it. There's two perfect pulls of... Um, let me just turn my sound down. Because sometimes that comes through the video and it's really annoying. Uh, there's two perfect pulls of four. But what makes this interesting is there is a captain... He's called a Frost Giant Captain, I think. He's in gold armor. He looks pretty cool. But you don't want to pull him. But if you do pull him, there's a pretty cool way of dealing with him, which I'm kind of hoping I accidentally pull him because it's pretty cool. Uh, where is he? He pats. There he is. He pats from there into there and then into here. So there's a left hut. This one has two. There's another one, where are my other guys? They're over there, plenty of time. So I can just get a snare off on the second one without this guy hitting me. Oh, okay, I've aggroed him. I can see by his shadow. So there's two ways of dealing with him. In fact, I'm gonna be totally honest, I was kinda of hoping that was gonna happen. <laughs> He's way higher level than the rest of them. These guys are like level 40. He's level 48, I think. 40, 47 or 48. He's not worth dealing with. He just he just takes... He has so much HP. I did kill him once by just sitting there and dotting him. And it took me like 25 minutes to kill him. So it's not worth it. I have also been known to... Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. Some. Where is my... Lure of the Wild. Um... Uh, before, I, I charmed one of these rhinos and just threw the rhino at the captain. Because the advanced technique that I'm using, <laughs> uh, I get NPCs to kill him. I mean, it all makes sense in a second. There's some Coldane dwarfs up there where I was earlier. And you can kind of get them to fight him. He'll slowly kill the dwarves off, if you do it perfectly. And then he'll be left with like 30% HP. So if you grab a uh, rhino... You can kind of get his HP down a little bit. With the intent that the rhino is going to die. This probably doesn't really make much sense right now, but it will in a moment. So I'll round these guys up. Now it's good to be back, by the way. Okay. It's really, really good to be back. I'm really enjoying being back in EverQuest. I just needed something fresh, you know? Some, um... Bring this those down quick. I needed some fresh. I was getting sick of those chickens in Tomorrow's Deep. I just wanted something a little, uh, a little different. And this is this is a little different, you know. This is a cool little camp. I don't know a lot about Velius because I didn't spend a lot of time here on live, but I do love it. It's really cool. I also don't usually turn with my keyboard, but I was drinking some water there. <laughs> All right. So usually I would kind of use... I'm using my Lumi staff, if you haven't watched my videos before. This is a um, really, really good staff. 
it basically has a free uh, sorry I'm hyper focused here it has a free AoE effect is it a call it? it's not called a point blank what's it called I haven't played in so long I can't even remember what the thing's called it's basically did I even say what it is nope it just hits your target and three targets around it and the Lumi Staff is a free version of that. The only thing is it doesn't do a ton of damage. Well, now it doesn't do a ton of damage. It's clickable at level 45. But um, at level 45, yeah, it's, it's insane. It does 187, whereas my highest level one does 477. So if I've got full mana and I have the time to do this, uh, it's better off just using the Lightning Blast. But the cool thing about the Lumi Staff is if... if you're not being lazy, you can just continuously kill things. Um, like for instance, you want to be at max range. So I've got it bound to my Q key, just for ease of use. Thing is, I don't want it to hit the captain, I just want to hit the savages. 184. I swear it was doing 187 before. I just want to kill these savages so I can. I want to kill the savages so I can show you what I do with this captain, because it's kind of cool. Okay, I've got savages only just there. Let's just root him, and then bring these ones down. Oh, I don't have any mana. Oh my god, I'm I'm at zero mana. <laughs> okay, does about five percent per click so this should kill oh it'll kill all but one of them I think yeah cool so that gave me about I think it was at 82 so it actually gives pretty good XP a full quad gives about 4% 3 or 4% so here comes the fun part it's kind of the reason I wanted to make this video so the yeah in there there's another uh, pull of four. So if you're being real careful, you can pull four, avoid the captain, go back in, pull the other four and avoid the captain. And by the time you're done with the second, uh, the second quad, the first four will have respawned. So you can pretty much just go forever. All right. I did actually read this technique in Saum, S-A-U-M, his guide on the wiki. He... His guide has like been one of my favorite guides for P99. I've learned so much from that guide. It's his. It's called the uh, Velius Quadding Guide, I think. Okay, so the technique is there's two out here. There's two guys in that hut, two guys out the front here, and there's like 10 guys in that hut. The 10 guys in that hut, they don't attack these giants for whatever reason. They've all got names. I'm sure they're for something, but I'm not sure. So the technique is to pull him from the western side, as I'm doing right now. Get him to... There we go. Get him to attack these two. You're better off if you haven't done any damage to him, because I'd, I'd prefer to have like zero aggro on him. I think the only aggro I have... Oh no, I drones have doomed him. And I rooted him a bunch of times. So yeah, he's, he's not very happy with me. He'll be coming, he'll chase after me once this uh, route is finished. So the trick is keep him there, get him to fight these two. And he'll slowly kill him. Look, she's on 40% and he is on 88. And he's on 77. So they'll slowly, <laughs> they'll biffo, he'll kill both of them. He'll probably be at about 50% when they're dead. And then you pull him through this little hut. You can see on the left side of my screen here. There's two Coldane Hunters. You pull him through that hut and then get him to melee those two guys. And once he's killed those two guys, he'll be on like between 10 and 25%. And then you finish him off. Yeah, he's not happy with me. The, other, the only other thing is I don't want him to get too close to that hut because if he's fighting four of them at once, they'll kill him. So in fact, I shouldn't have been sitting there. I should be sitting here but it's kind of fun 
I think ideally, if you're actually going for XP per hour, you don't want to pull this guy ever. You only want to pull the four and you want to avoid him at all costs. And also now that leashing is around, you can just run away from him if you do pull him or zone or whatever. But I thought this was pretty cool. I read this in that in that Valley is quite unguarded. I really wanted to try it. It looks like they're doing better work on him than I thought. I mean, he's such an idiot. He just keeps tab changing target. He could have killed one of them so long ago. <laughs> okay, he's at 51. This might work out pretty perfectly. I did it the other day and I got him on... He was on 1% after I'd been fucking around with this. So you pull him. You see there's two hunters in here. There you go. They've got a pretty big aggro range. I mean, this is. it's also worth noting that... um. This only works if the cold aim like you. If they kill on side to you, this is definitely not going to work. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. I like it because I'm going to be sitting here medding anyway, waiting for my mana to come back. And this is kind of something to watch. And it's cool, you know? I kind of love weird stuff like this because I feel like you can't do this kind of thing in any other game. Okay, he's not tab targeting. He's doing one by one. So I guess to help him out, I'll throw a Drones of Doom on him. I'm also clicking this. This isn't costing me any mana. So if you're leveling a Druid right now, this is one of the pieces you it's you must have. It's, you can get it for like five, six, seven hundred plat. This is just a must have item. For how cheap they are, it's probably the best item you're going to have. That will be replaced probably never. Okay, he's at 39%. Which is much higher than he usually is. Which is funny, because if you, if you pull him through all four, he will kill him. This has never happened before. He's usually very close to dying. I guess I can just root rod him here. Let's see if I can get a uh, an immolate on him he does resist a little bit uh, at level 50 the other um, the other giants don't seem to resist ever okay that's stuck gonna need another one of these a six cents and I guess the other cool thing about Lumi stuff is you can just do this <laughs> it's like a mini JBB <laughs> Oh, wait, I do want him to kill that dwarf. I wonder how I can do that. It's the thing with these videos, you know? Every time I make these videos, this kind of thing happens. Can I root the dwarf? It's probably not a good idea. Let's see, if I root him right next to... There we go. That worked out perfectly. <laughs> Um, I guess just for the sake of the video, I might just... I've only got 4% mana, I guess I'll just have to do it the ghetto way. Yeah, but I... I have some plans. I'm, I've started my epic on this character. Only the first part, so I've done a little bit of the... Um, the foraging that you have to do. I luckily got... I went out to Everfrost and I got the... I've got the Tundra root, which is something you have to forage for the epic, and I've heard the horror stories about it. I actually got it on my first attempt. Like, I zoned str I, I ran in from Blackborough, hit forage, and I got it straight away, and it was pretty cool. But then, then I've got to get the Misty Thicket one. Um, I'll, have, I'll have a better knowledge of all this stuff at a later date. Because I can't fully remember what... All the items are. I think it's one in Misty Thicket, one in Everfrost, one in uh, Innerthil Swamp, and then there's another one I can't remember. But I think the idea is you just sit there hitting forage all day long. <laughs> I don't want that. But yeah, I did actually get a new screen. I got an ultra wide screen. Got a 38 inch screen. I don't know if this will make the video look different. But it is brilliant. I'm so happy I got it. 
It's a shame EverQuest doesn't really show it, but if I'm playing a different game, it's so much more space. And I do want to, one of my friends, Righty, if you're watching this, thanks again for this. I didn't forget that you lent it to me. My friend Righty, he lent this out to me uh, for Charming. He hasn't been on in a little while, but um, yeah, I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't even used it yet, but I'm probably planning on going to the Bear Pits soon in uh, Permafrost, which is like a classic uh, Druid Charming spot. So it's going to get a lot of use then. Yeah, if you're watching this, I, I do plan on giving that back to you, so thanks. <laughs> oh, and I'm also wearing my Shaman's Golden Skull earring. It's a really handy thing to have, even. It's better on a Shaman, but it's cool because on, on this guy, you can kind of do stuff like this. Let's say you snare him, you can hit it, and you've got all your spells back straight away. I mean, it's not hugely game-changing, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of easy guys. See what I mean? If, if you were to pull this guy and just root rod him, he'd be sitting here all night. Oh, I forgot to loot those giants. I wonder if they're still there. Probably not. I've been yapping about God knows what for so long. Okay, yeah, they're gone. Yeah, and as I was saying before, the other thing you can do is you can charm one of these rhinos to take a bit more of his HP off. But you get the idea. This guy actually also drops a tunic, and it's pretty good. And I'm wondering if it vendors, because you know how giant, well, whoops, giant gears typically sells for like a decent amount of money. Like the giants in Warslick's Woods, if you loot like a tunic or a weapon off them. I feel like it sells for like 50 plats, so I want, like to a vendor. So I'm wondering, I've killed this guy maybe three, maybe four times, five times, and he hasn't dropped it yet, so I guess we'll see. Jeez, how much HP has this guy got? Um, but yeah, I kind of decked him out. I can't remember if I did this in my last video, but Pickens, yeah, he's got some pretty cool gear. Like, I bought this. I pretty much only bought this because I always wanted it in back in the day. I remember seeing it and I was just, I love items that have like one of this, 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 one of this. That's why I bought this. I know it's probably not a good item. I don't really look at best item lists, <laughs> but um, I just love items like this where it's like, a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that. I mean, it's got save us magic, which is pretty good. Like the, the dragon necklaces, I love those, how it has like four or five or six to every single stat. I think it looks really cool. And these two, the Cobalt Drake stuff, insanely good. This one especially with eight strength, which is really handy for me because with just this amount of money and my gear and all my crap, I'm already at 100 weight. But that Cobalt Drake stuff is really good. But the rest of it's pretty, like, it's pretty standard. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. It's pretty standard um, Druid stuff. I was in EC just early and I couldn't believe how cheap some of this stuff is now. Alright, come on, mate. <laughs> how good is the Halfling? Oh, I hit him. How good is the Halfling, um... Two hand blunt. Ah, there he goes. Let's see. Nah, he just dropped a beard, which I already have. Don't actually know what they're for. And the words. And 12 silver. Not very impressive, mate. I guess we'll get that tunic sooner or later. And it looks like night is coming in. Valius makes it nice and cozy. And look, these guys have already respawned. That's, I mean, that's a testament to how long I was killing that guy for. These dudes have already respawned. Oh, she's got that cool staff. Yeah, I would be wary. If you're not sure what your Coldane faction is, I wouldn't be go running around in here. This guy's dubious. These guys are all dubious, whereas the warriors are apprehensive. So yeah, when you kill these guys, you get, I think, one rep? Or is it ten rep? I'm not sure. 
But I guess my idea is I'm going to kill these until I'm like level 52 here and there. And then I'll hopefully have enough Claws of Vishan rep to not have to worry about all the dragons in Velius. But we'll see. Uh, but until then, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I appreciate all your kind comments and everyone saying, where the fuck are you? <laughs> um, I was pretty much just playing alts and just screwing around, not really playing many games. But yeah, I'm having a really great time. So I'm hoping to at least document some epic on this guy. I do have my shame and my shame is fully fully wrapped with um, true spirit for his epic. So I'm just waiting on the tier. We'll get there one day. It's been a long journey, but we'll get there. But um, I'm basically going to try and level this guy and do his epic. And then my shame is kind of just resting, waiting for his epic. So a lot of exciting things on the horizon. But yeah, cheers guys. And thanks again for watching.